Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about linear model performance. And so this is going to go a little bit deeper into that idea that we had talked about earlier. How do we know if our linear model is good or not? Um, well, there's two metrics that we can use. And the first one is root mean squared error. So imagine this. Um, if you had one observation where you had trained um, it, one observation in your test set, where you wanted to evaluate uh, how the model was performing, what you could do is take y hat, which is the model, the value the computer is predicting, and y sub i, which is the value that you're predicting for that particular observation, and subtract them. And if you did that, you would know how close the computer was to you. Makes sense, right? The computer says 12. I know in reality it's 10. The difference is 2. OK, so that's one observation. but I have in my test set many observations. So for many observations, what I would do is I would do the same thing, y hat minus y, so I get the difference, and then I average that distance, right? So I take, I take the difference of, one, of all the observations, and I add them all up, and I divide by the total number of, of observations, and that gives me the average um, difference. OK, but there's a problem with that. And that problem is that uh, if we do this, we're going to have some where the computer is over my predicted value and some where the computer is under my predicted value. So that means that I'll have some positives and some negatives. And if I do that, I'm going to have the negatives and positives kind of wash out. And it's not going to give me a really good understanding of how far away my model is from reality. So the way I can compensate for that is I can take this and I can square it. And so if I square that value and then take the average, and then very in the very end I can take the square root of that, that gives me the root mean squared error. So um, that's a pretty easy way to give you a metric to know how close your model is to reality. Um, one little note here when using RMSE, scikit doesn't have an RMSE function, but it does have a mean squared error function, so you can just take the square root. All right, the other way that we can use to, man to uh, determine if our model is working well or not is called the coefficient of determination, which is r squared. All right, r squared is equal to 1 minus the sum of squares of the residuals minus the sum of squares of the totals. OK, what the heck does that mean? Slow down. This is all the best to, take, uh, to be taken slow. One step at a time, this will make sense. So if we look at the sum of squares of the total, what, that's, what that really is is um, for each observation, take that observation subtract the average value of the data set, square it, and take the sum. So this says something about the total variance in the data set. Um, and really, this is pretty much the uh, formula for variance, um, which is uh, you've probably calculated before. OK, so sum of squares for residuals is pretty close to that. In this case, we're taking uh, the value of the observation and subtracting the value of the predicted uh, value. And so this says something about variance from actual to predicted. And so if you think about that, really what we're saying here is that r squared is equal to 1 minus the ratio of the unexplained variance to the explained variance. So if all of the variance in the model was explained, the error was 0, then r squared would be 1. Um, r squared will be between 0 and 1, and larger is better. Okay, so we've talked about coefficient of determination and RMSE as two different metrics that we can use to measure our models. But how do we know what good is? Is, is my model good enough? Well, that depends. It always depends. Um, what does it depend on? Primarily on application. Um, are we guessing... Um, some number like a house price and we need to be within ten thousand dollars and maybe our model doesn't have to have such a good r squared are we guiding a missile to its ultimate location probably we want the r squared to be fairly good so it depends on the application um, all of these metrics have weaknesses and strengths 
And mathematicians love to argue about which metric is the best. I would suggest that we think of all of these metrics as heuristics. And so think of them as rules of thumb, not hard, fast rules that we have to adhere to. And really, these metrics are best used to compare two models on the same data. Um, you know, so if we have some, some data and we've applied a couple of different regression models, maybe we can use these to find what's the best or even to optimize hyperparameters like regularization, which we're going to talk about later. Okay, thanks for listening. Um, hopefully that gives you some insight into how to know if our model is good.